Boom! Hi guys, Hamza here and welcome to this channel. Today I am going to show you how to create headers using Elementor Page Builder. A header is a section that appears on top of your website that you can always use to navigate around your website. A header may simply look something like this on my blog. This is a header that is appearing on top of my blog. It helps one navigate a website from page to page. So in this video, we are going to do exactly that. Let's dive straight in. So inside your dashboard, inside your WordPress dashboard, you will navigate to templates and under templates, you will be able to go to save templates. Under save templates, you can simply just click add new when you click add new it will bring you a pop-up box and this pop-up dialogue window will give you options to select what you want to create we want to create a header then we also can name the template type because in this case it's going to be a template that we are going to use in a couple of pages or our header will be a template that is appearing on different other pages on our website. So we can name it something like demo header. Create template. When we click create template, it will take us to the next page and this page will show us a number of templates that are available to select from because Elementor provides us the uh, number of templates to select from or to choose from when we are creating headers but in this video we are creating everything from scratch so we don't need anything here so we now using a blank canvas so we can select the kind of layout we want for now we will choose a layout with four columns in the first column, we can put the, our logo and maybe our menu is coming here and maybe you can have a button somewhere here, something like subscribe or sign up now. Here we can add an element of image and that image can be one for our and that image can be one for our logo. So we select and then we choose that image we want to use there that can be a logo so in this case I'm selecting this as our logo and then um, in the next column we can uh, add our navigation A navigation element will appear like that so in this case we want to use the main navigation or the main menu that we already created and then we need it horizontal i think we will not need the third column so we can remove we can delete the third column so that we have much more other space to use we can also have our navigation centered vertically or we can have our navigation um, appearing in the middle of the column box by selecting it like that. So in this case, we will have to find why it is not appearing by selecting main menu, um, GTU main menu. Exactly, I think I had chosen a wrong menu. So we'll select GTU main menu and then it will appear. And then uh, here we can resize our columns so that we have our menu appear in the way we want. In the very last box we will add, we will look for something like a button because we just want to put a button where someone can click and probably sign up to our newsletter. We can say sign up, we can name it sign up. Um, we should also uh, make it appear in the middle of the content box so we can uh, add uh, we can do some kind of styling here we can make things uh, look, look a bit tied up so we can increase a little bit of the horizontal padding 
and um, and maybe also space between them just a little bit we can do a couple of other things like changing the menu font I always prefer to use this font um, we can do a little of other modifications at the same time we can I think this 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 looks pretty good I think we can also give the menu a background but I um, I prefer to use uh, something to do with shape divider and probably give them like mountains you know with mountains then I can give them color can give them some color in the background though sometimes I also prefer to have the mountains you know flipped or or I can say and I don't need the mountains at the top I need the mountains at the bottom so I can just say mountains at the bottom and give them some color something like that very small but still there and then the height we can say we we want them a little bit smaller not really really big and the width we can increase or decrease the width of our mountain so we can just make it something like that so that it really really you know doesn't look like too much so i think we are now almost done so in case we just need to fix anything to do maybe with the uh, maybe with that with a highlight color we can change it maybe to also be gray like we can say menu and we can say the hover color you know the text if we hover over we can say let our text uh, have magenta kind of um, community so we can say this is what we want so the hover color has changed we can also do the same for the font color so when someone hovers it automatically changes to a color that somehow suits your taste we can also change the sign up box color we can say let the text stay white but the background changes to blue and that blue kind of you know resembles our blue on the other side so that's how we can have our header uh, created using Elementor Page Builder. Of course, there are a couple of things you can always check out, the responsiveness and how it looks like in different devices, which you can actually uh, get fixed using Elementor by checking out the responsive mode on tablets and on, on mobile. So this will give you how give you an idea of how to fix and tweak a couple of things here and there so um, with if you feel like all is done and you are comfortable with what you what you have you can easily save a draft or when you save a draft actually you will have this header saved and you can always reuse it over and over again at the same time if you want to select where you want your header to appear you can go down to you can go down to publish display conditions publish display conditions and you can select where you want your header to appear if you want it to appear on the entire site well and good if you want it to appear only on the archives or only on the blog posts well and good you can actually have a different header for the blog post you can have a different header for the archives and you can have a different header for different other pages on the website so in this case we can say entire site and then you add the condition you can also add a couple of other conditions to basically have a header work on certain pages and others not so guys that's how you can create header templates in elementor i wish you a good time building your online presence